everybody welcome back to my channel something a little bit different today as well as being an utter uh, an utter Irma's freak and a crazy handbag lady I'm also an utter geek and I am that person that will set up the Apple event every year and watch it whilst eating my dinner or hour and a half of it that is me I like, I like things um, if only it was limited to, um, you know, not so many things. Anyway, I did on the 9th of September on launch day. Supposed to be at 1pm, but it was about 1.20 that it was up and running. I didn't need to rush, but I did. And I ordered myself this. So I didn't go crazy. I didn't get a new phone. I didn't get a new watch, even though it was tempting. I got myself the new AirPods Pro. So these are the AirPods Pro second generation, designed by Apple in California. So I got these. This is the packaging. And then it comes like this. There's all the like warranties and instruction booklet in there to set up. They were in this packaging. I will show you in a second. So they would have sat like that but in that nice packaging and then we lift it up and we have the charging cable there and then here we have in this little packet you get three extra um, of the adjustable earpods so these are size extra small small and large and the medium size are what come automatically on there. Now I've tried, and I never know, like how big is the inside of my ear? I don't know. But I tend to go with medium. I find that they seem to be the overall grippiest and more comfortable. Obviously I've had to tidy all that away as I go. So it comes in this rechargeable case which and this is wireless chargeable which is slightly different to the other one in that you've got this extra lanyard loop there where you could attach a lanyard if you want to and um, the one available on the Apple store is I think $12.95 you get much cheaper on eBay or Amazon um, charging port there should you want to use it but as I say these are wirelessly chargeable and the addition with the AirPods Pro 2, generation 2 as opposed to first generation, these are MagSafe compatible. So I've got here my Anchor portable uh, rechargeable pack. It's great this. I don't know if you heard that little ding, but it dings to say it's on. And there we go. Mag safe. So you can see it there. Um, so yeah, great app. This is great. I'll put a link in this in the description box below as well because you've got this bit on the back that comes off and you can have it as a little stand for your iPhone, either portrait or you can put the phone landscape as well and it just works like that. So even if you don't use it to charge, you can just use it as a stand as well, you know, or even if it's empty, it's still not useless. It's a really nice, it's a really nice tactile item as well. So it's not going to scratch anything else in your bag or anything like that. So brilliant, love that. Um, and these are the AirPods there in the little case. As you can see, just lift them out. That is left ear. Lift them out. Chucky in. Um, so yeah, they've got on the side here, you've got, so just there is where you would push to hold, skip a track, go back, adjust, push and hold, and adjust the volume. You've also got controls on the control centre on your iPhone, should you prefer to do it that way. Um, where you would just slide down and then you've got the options and you can it's also got this like 
the sound of these compared to the old AirPods Pro, and I didn't have a problem with the original AirPods Pro, I've, you know, found them really useful. I use these when I'm editing, I use these on my commute to London all the time. Um, not having a cable, I just find brilliant. I also use these with my work laptop if I'm taking work calls and I haven't got the big headset with me and you know, if I'm travelling. So I use AirPods, that's how I justified it to myself. Um, but actually trying the, Air, the, the second generation over the first generation, the sound, like when you've got music, um, the bass and everything is just, it's wonderful. They've got this like space, this spatial um, way of, of doing it and it's it's supposed to make it sound like you're right there kind of thing and it is really good. It's, it's supposed to be more immersive and it genuinely is. So I'm a, I've only tried these for about five minutes so far. They only came yesterday in the post and I was working, it was a weekday, but already I'm really happy and it was a good purchase um, and I need to just sell my other ones. So that's the first thing I thought I would share with you. We're having an easy day today, we've just kind of gone and had my hair done. Um, so we are looking a bit more brown than we did last time. And in addition to that, I also bought some new makeup. So from Hourglass. I am a sucker for an Hourglass palette. They come out for like the holiday season every year. I know, it's a bit early for Christmas, but here we go. And this year, They've listened to Critique and they've basically brought out three palettes to allow for different skin tones. So there's one with a butterfly on, which is for like paler tones. For medium, they've gone for this elephant and then there's a tiger palette for deeper skin tones. Um, I went for the one with my skin tone. If you want to, on the Hourglass website as well, you can also mix and match. Now, these will be coming to Space NK. They will be coming to Cult Beauty. Um, I'm not sure when, maybe by now. It certainly won't when I looked. Um, so I got this from the Hourglass website directly. Got a cheeky discount code as well as a new subscriber to their email. So I got 10% off. Um, like the last, I'll show you to compare. Like the last palette here, both are in tin. So this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked and this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Elephant. I know, very confusing. Um, I use these palettes all the time. This was actually the one for deeper skin tones compared with the other universe one that they bought out at the same time but a lot of the critique of this was that it just was not deep enough and I'd agree with that the fact that I could use it looking at the new tiger palette from this range completely unsuitable for me brilliant doesn't need to be I've got this one for me I don't need to be greedy and have all three that are suitable and the butterfly one I'll show you what this comes with and the reason I didn't like the butterfly one the blushes looked beautiful colors there's no bronzer in it. And I like these for convenience. So these are the colours on the elephant. And what we've got is, we've got a finishing powder here in dim light, a finishing powder here in soft light, uh, which is slightly lighter, so it might be nicer for like under the eye area. These are existing shades, and the other four shades are all brand new. So we've got a metallic strobe powder in beaming strobe light which is yeah which is this one and then we have a bronzer in lustrous bronze light which is obviously this one and then the two blushes we've got blush in iridescent coral so it's got more of a shimmer to it than this blush here in radiant rose so yeah really beautiful now I use my palettes all the time because I'm always late and I'm often doing my makeup on the train on the way into work. So what I'll put in my handbag typically will be palette, mini o case with a few bits in, and that's it, we're done. That's all I need for the day. 
and we can basically do a, a full face and then to chuck my foundation on before I leave, do everything else on route. Obviously today I have not bothered with said foundation or eye makeup. Um, a tiny bit of blush, not from either of these, but yeah, totally need another palette, didn't I? Um, I just thought I would show you the, the comparison between these two because if you look at last year's, so this is the Universe Unlocked, you can see it fairly similar. Now what we've got is we've only got the one finishing powder in here, but the two blushes are fairly similar. I'm, I'm going to try and show you without blinding you with the mirrors. There you go. So you can see they look fairly similar like that. But what I thought I'd do is show you all the shades next to each other quickly. Um, it is different when it's on the face and even when you swatch it. So I'm going to go in with the finishing powder first and put that on my arm. Bearing in mind that probably won't stand out too much because it's a finishing powder. Um, I will then do the two blushes, so I'm going to do the dark one and then the light one. Probably going to run out of fingers. And then I will do the bronzer and then the strobe. So you can see them there. Now I'm going to go in with the new palette and do, show you the colours like for like. So we're going to start off with the two finishing powders. This is going to be very subtle. I may have to take a picture and insert the photo. I'm going to do the dark blush next to where I did the dark blush of the other one and this is where you can really see the difference and then we'll go with the bronzer and then finally the strobe. Right, let's try and show you. So the top line is the one from last year and the bottom is the elephant from this year. So when you look at the finishing powders, you can see that the finishing powder from the last year's is slightly dark, and then we've got the two there, which you can barely see, but they're finishing powder, so you should be able to. The dark blushes of the two that look very similar when I showed them, you can see last year's, the universe, is much darker and more purpley, um, and this is probably more how you would expect it to come out. And then you can really see the iridescence in this coral one from Elephant compared to the lighter one from last year. The lighter one from last year is a lot like the darker one from this year. The bronzer, I would say, is much more noticeable and actually darker in the lighter medium palette of this year compared to the deep ones for last year. The bronzer from last year's palette took a bit of work to get anything out. And then the strobe lightings are very similar. Um, very, very similar. So they are different, but similar, and that's how I justified it. And I just absolutely adore the design of the packaging. I know you shouldn't buy makeup for that really, but, but why not? It looks nice in your bag. And I just thought the colours were really pretty and complimentary and every day and that's what I wanted. I tend to wear everyday makeup every day if you like literally when I'm going to work or even sometimes if I'm filming, I don't know, obviously not today, um, if I'm filming or 
just don't want to feel like I look like complete and utter rubbish and just want to cheer myself up with a bit of makeup. Sometimes I just feel like playing with makeup and putting some on, and I do. And not all the time. Other times I'm cleaning the house and everything's scraped back and we're just going with some good skincare. So yeah, also you can use, and what I did do as well earlier in the week was I packed a tiny, as well as a face hourglass a retractable face brush, I also packed a small um, eye makeup brush, a small eyeshadow brush, and use these colours as little eyeshadows, you know, just use the bronzer and a bit of the blush and a little bit of the highlight in the corner uh, of my eye to sort of brighten the eyes. And that again was a very subtle effect, but it also meant that your whole makeup look was just then really well tied in. So I thought I would share with you a couple of items that I bought uh, this week, in addition to the MS sale, I know. Family on Ban Island now for a while. So yeah, any questions at all, let me know. I will put links to everything in the description box below, so do take a look and do take care and have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you are. Take care, bye.